It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to the special edition of Science Bowl. We started with 16 middle schools. We're down to the final four. Two of those four are here today in the first of our two semifinal matchups. Let's meet today's teams. First, from Benjamin Tasker Middle School, would you please say hello to Austin Gladden, Sydney Schumar, and Joshua Owens. And from Drew Freeman Middle School, our contestants, Ina Haya, Savannah Nelson, and Dwayne Smith. And now here are the categories of questions we use on Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty with the easier questions worth five and 10 points, the tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25. The toughest question of them all, both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. At the end of the two rounds, we will have the first of our two finalists in this year's middle school championship competition. Let's make sure everything's working properly. Let's go over to the red team. And Sydney, would you try that buzzer for me? Thank you. Good luck to you, to Austin and to Josh. And Savannah, would you try your buzzer at the green team? Thank you. Good luck to you, to Dwayne and to Ina. Are we ready to play? Let's do this. If you're a little nervous, that is normal. You did so well in the preliminary rounds, and congratulations for having made it this far. Let's have a great game. We go alphabetically B before D. So, Sydney, let's play the bowl. Uh, body systems for five, please. Body systems for five points to start us out. Teams, what body part gets twisted if you try to say something like, see, she sells seashells by... Benjamin Tasker. The tongue. The tongue twister by the seashore. I almost got it out. Go red. Let's get physical for five, please. Get physical for five points. Teams, Chevrolet makes a model car that is named for these two days, one in the spring, one in the fall, when day and night are equal. Equinox. Drew Freeman. Equinox. Got it. The Chevy Equinox. Nice answer. Go green. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Teams, the newest and hottest sports drink, Madonna has endorsed it, is the water or milk, if you will, that comes from this world's largest seed. Drew Freeman. Coconut. You got that right. Coconut water. You can see it in your Giant and your Safeway. It's the newest rage. Has lots of water in and minerals and protein. It's supposed to be good stuff. Go green. Um, zoo Parade for 10. Zoo Parade for 10 points. Teams, in the composting toilet aboard Plastiki, a boat that has been built entirely with recycled plastic, are these annelids that we normally associate with being on the end of a fish hook? Benjamin Tasker. What you think, Sydney? Uh, bait. Bait? Bait. Bait. Be more specific, please. Fish bait? Uh, Not quite. Drew Freeman? What? Go ahead. Worm. The worm. That's right. Annelids are worms. Worms on the end of the fish hook there. All right. Go green. Zoo parade for 20. Zoo parade for 20 points. Teams, down in the Everglades, pythons that have been released as pets now are huge, and they're eating alligators. Alligators that they can digest in a mere five days because they have what strong acid in their stomach that digests those alligators, the same acid that we have in our stomachs. Drew Freeman. Hydrochloric. You got that right. Nicely done. Good. Go. Green. Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, if you know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who can get you a job, you are said to have this body part in the door. 
Drew foot. Freeman. Foot. You got a foot in the door. Absolutely right. You got a leg up. I got a million of them. Go green. Science potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Teams talking about automobiles and models. Ford's new hybrid is named for this process where two atomic nuclei. Fusion. Fusion. The Ford Fusion. Two nuclei join together to produce energy. Absolutely right. Go green. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Teams, carnivorous plants have to be very careful that they don't trap all the incoming insects because they need some of them to do this to them. Benjamin Tasker. Sydney, what do you think? Uh, pollinate. Absolutely right, because carnivorous plants also produce flowers. They've got to be pollinated, so you can't kill the thing that you need to be keep you around for another generation. Good. Red. Uh, green, green things for 10 points, please. Green things for 10 points. Teams in Africa, beans and maize are major crops, but the soil is very poor. So to take advantage of the meager amount of rainfall, genetic engineers are producing beans and maize that have very shallow what plant parts? Benjamin Tasker. Roots. Roots, yeah, just like cactus. So any drop that falls can be utilized. Red. Super 8 for 15, please. Super 8 for 15 points. Talk about your fairly odd parents. If you're a mule, who are your parents? Donkey. Who are your parents, Drew Freeman? Donkey and a donkey. A donkey and a, a horse. horse. Absolutely right. Thank you, Ina. A donkey and a horse produce a mule, which is sterile, so it cannot reproduce on its own. Thank you. Go green. Um, great things for 25. Green things for 25. Big one in that category, teams. It is during the dark phase of photosynthesis that carbohydrate synthesis occurs, meaning what two ingredients in photosynthesis produce what product? So three-part answer. What two ingredients produce what product? Drew Freeman. Talk among yourselves, Tasser. Come on, have carbon. an answer in case I have to come to you. Yes, ma'am. Carbon and hydrogen. Hydrogen. Produce water and glucose. Mm, not quite. Not quite. Benjamin Tasker, what two ingredients produce what product during the dark phase in photosynthesis when carbohydrate synthesis occurs? What two things make what? Carbon and water. Yes, ma'am. Uh, carbon and water make sugar. Ooh, almost, almost. You got the water, you got the sugar. The carbon is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide plus water makes sugar. Valiant tries on both sides. The buzzer is rung. That means we've come to the end of the first round of questioning. Our score at this juncture, Benjamin Tasker, 85. Drew Freeman, 135. We'll be back with round two in just a moment. Don't go away. And welcome back to Science Ball. Hope you're enjoying this semifinal matchup between two outstanding middle schools. Having made it to the final four, we award, we reward our contestants with Audubon Field Guides. All of our contestants today will have their choice either of mammals, birds, reptiles, or insects to take as a reward, as a memento of their time here on Science Ball. We're very proud of all of them. Let's go over and meet them right now. Let's talk to the team from Benjamin Tasker. And uh, Sydney, nice to have you back again. Tell us about Benjamin Tasker. It's over there in Bowie. Who's your principal? Miss Coley. And she's out there rooting for you. And you have two sponsors, Miss Bell and Miss Wilson, and they've been working very hard to get you ready for today. We'll bring them out. And Sydney, you had an alternate on your team? Mm -hmm. Who is that? Robbie Slakes. Okay, and Robbie is waiting in the wings and will be out in just a few moments. Sydney, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, you've been very successful on Science Bowl here. How do you come by all your science knowledge? Um, just uh, from science class, science is my favorite subject, so I read a lot of science articles. That's uh, wonderful. Articles. Yeah, well, it, it's evident because you, you seem to pick up on all the clues that we have in our questions here. What do you want to do someday? I want to be a marine biologist. Yeah, how would you get interested in that? Uh, just reading a bunch of books about marine life, and I just... And I know if you watch, uh, like, the Animal Planet, for instance, there are a lot of undersea uh, adventures down there, and it just, it's, it's a great world to float in. Do you scuba dive or skin dive? or snorkel. I hope you get a chance to do that sometime. Josh, nice to have you back with us. Tell us the Josh story. What do you do in your spare time? 
Um, like play some sports, mostly soccer, some football. Yeah. And uh, what do you want to do professionally someday? Um, I want to program video games. Yeah, I know you like to play video games, yeah. too, so that seems like a natural inclination for you. Austin, a uh, young man, is an artist, and you like to draw in your spare time, is that right? And you hope yes. to be a professional artist someday? Yes. Yes. Uh, what kind of art? Painting, sculpting, uh, what? Painting and drawing. Okay. And uh, tell me why you want to be part of the Science Bowl team. Um, Miss Bell actually got me interested. Ah, good. Boy, we hope you're having a good time here. And uh, your score, 85. I know you're going to add to that in the second half. Drew Freeman, first time ever that this school has made it into the semifinal, so congratulations. Benjamin Tasker has been a county champion before, but Drew Freeman among our four finalists here, semifinalists, has never been at this point, so congratulations. A first for your school. Savannah, tell us about Drew Freeman. Where is it? It is in District Heights. District, District Heights, yeah. I know you're close Suitland. to Suitland High School over there. And uh, who's your principal? Our principal is Mr. Charles Wilson. Wonderful. And uh, the sponsor of your team? Dr. Angela. And Mr. Angela is here, and he's very proud of you and has really, really worked hard to get you ready for today's program. Any alternates on your team, Savannah? Yes, Abraham Diallo. All right, he'll be out in just a few moments, so everyone can meet him as well. Tell me about yourself. What do you see yourself doing? And I know you have a lot of different career goals. Yes, I aspire to be a doctor, a lawyer, and a singer. Wow. And I know you like to sing in your spare time. Yes. And I know you're a reader. Readers do very well on this program. And how they make you the captain of the team? Well, Dr. Angele says that I am very fast with the buzzer, so. Yes, okay. And thank you uh, very much for that. And uh, um, you're very good as a captain. You know, I like how you consult with your two teammates over there. Dwayne, um, tell me about yourself. Uh, I know that you uh, uh, have a lot going on in your private life there. You're a musician, is that right? Yes. Do you play instruments? Yes, I play the piccolo and I play the flute. Wonderful. And would you like to be a professional musician? Yes. Wonderful. Great. All right. And why do you want to be on our program? Um, it's just, I like trivia questions and stuff like that, and just the group effort thing. Just, yeah, just good. You're a good player. You, you seem to be on top of things, and you've got a great spirit about you. And Ina, nice to have you with us. You've come up with a couple key answers already. How do you know so much about science? I read. You read, you read, you read. Boy, reading is, uh, sets you well for just about anything you want to do in life. What do you want to do someday? I'm a professor in literature or philosophy. Wonderful. That's great. And I think earlier I was referring to Dr. Angeli uh, and used the wrong pronoun. It, it's just she, and my apologies about that. Let's get back into our game. 135 for Drew Freeman, 85 for Benjamin Tasker. Lots of points to give away. And Green, would you start us out, Savannah? Um, Zoo Parade for five. Zoo Parade for five points. Teams, because they are impervious to radiation, what disgusting insect? Benjamin Tasker. Cockroach. Cockroach. The government is putting them, putting them uh, inside areas where there might be bombs. They have bomb detectors. Imagine that. They're serving their country, though. Go, Red. Let's get uh, science potpourri for five points, please. Potpourri for five points. Teams, we know that Eskimos have dozens of words for snow, but they have hundreds of words for this other cold stuff. Benjamin Tasker. Sleet, yes. Sleet? Not sleet. Drew Freeman, hundreds of words for what other cold stuff other than snow? Ice. Ice, that's right. They have all different kinds of ice up there. Imagine that. Go, green. Um, let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams on Enceladus, which is one of Saturn's moons, astronomers have noted these water spouts that we associate here on Earth with seismically active areas. Drew Freeman. Geysers. Geysers. Geysers, that's right. Geysers that are shooting up sometimes kind of frozen, a kind of a frozen concoction there. Very interesting sight. Green. Dateline science for five. Dateline for five points. Very sad story in Orlando. One of the keepers was killed down there. What killed that keeper? Benjamin Tasker. A whale. A whale, yes, an orca. Good, go, red. Dateline science for 10 points, please. Dateline for 10 points. Teams, dolphins are among the few mammals other than humans that suffer from this insulin deficiency disease. Benjamin Tasker. Diabetes. Diabetes, yes. Uh, dolphins can become diabetic. Go red. Green things for five points, please. Green things for five points. Teams, what man-made green thing is the stress-free place where a lot of plants begin their lives? 
Drew Freeman. Greenhouse. The greenhouse it is. You got that for five points. Good. Green. Let's get physical for 15. Get physical for 15 points. Teams, the third greatest explosion ever, according to one ranking system, was when the Shoemaker-Levy comet collided with this largest of the gas giant planets. Benjamin Tasker. Jupiter. Jupiter, absolutely right. The comet banged right into that uh, planet and it was visible. You could see that through a telescope. Red. Score update, 120 Tasker, 165 Drew Freeman. Advantage red. Let's get physical for 10 points, please. To physical for 10 points. Teams, if you put dry ice into an empty soda bottle and then seal the top, in a very short while, what gas will pressurize that bottle? Drew Freeman? Carbon dioxide. You got that. Absolutely. Good. Answer. Go. Zooparate for 25. Zooparate for 25. The big one in that category, teams. In the movie Avatar, there is a creature, and I will spell it out for you. There's... Hmm. Drew Freeman. Per pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. Not pterodactyl. Oh, you're going to kick yourself. I Benjamin know. Tasker, in the movie Avatar, there is a creature called the Tetrateron. T E T R A P T E R O N. Tetrateron. Tell me what that creature has. Yes, ma'am. Wings. Wings. More. Um. Uh, cottage? Oh, poor. Mm. So close. Four wings. Four wings. Tetra. T E T R A. Four wings is what we were looking for. Go green. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points, multiple choice. Question, teams, one of our Olympic skaters suffered a terrible accident last year. His skate blade cut deeply into his leg, severing his brachial, his femoral, or his hepatic artery. Which one? Drew Freeman. Brachial? Not the brachial. The brachial, the hepatic, or the femoral artery severed in this ice skater's leg, Sydney. Femoral? Femoral, yes. The clue there being close to the femur, which is in the leg. Red. Science potpourri for 15 points, please. Potpourri for 15 points. Another multiple choice question. Teams, when minerals take the place of bone and woody tissue to produce a fossil, is that known as polymerization, petrification, or... Yes, Drew Freeman. Petrification. It is indeed petrification, the formation of rock. Good, go. Um, body, systems. body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points, teams. The macula in your eye can sometimes degenerate and affect your vision. But your black and white vision would not be affected because what photosensitive cells are not found in the macula? This would be the rods, the rods versus the cones, which are used for color vision. Again, green. Dateline science for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Teams, it was exposed as a fraud. Some parents were said to bank these controversial cells from their children's umbilical cord to save them. Stem Benjamin Tasker. Stem cells? Stem cells, yes, to save them for later use. Turned out to be a total hoax. Uh, poor parents were drawn into that scheme. 150 to 190. Sydney, please. Science potpourri for 20 points, please. Potpourri for 20 points, teams. What L-initialed word, which is the title of a great book by Dana Sobel, indicates the meridians that you cannot see all around the world that tell you where you are? What L-initialed word, Drew Freeman? Longitude. Longitude it is, absolutely right. That's the name of the book as well. 360 degrees of those meridians. Go green. Body systems for 25? Body systems for? 25. For 25, the big one in that category. Teams, what A initial disease often affects children, making them very hypersensitive, and they are afraid to have people hug them? Drew Freeman. Um, ADHD? No, um, it's... Um, it's a phobia. It's... Um, mm. We were talking about tongues before on the tip of her tongue, perhaps. Oh. Not quite. Benjamin Tasker, can you give me, give me the name of that A, initial disease, often affects children, can make them very hypersensitive, and they're resistant oftentimes to human touch. Autism? Autism. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Good. Nice comeback. Red. Dateline science for 20 points, please. Dateline for 20. Teams, back in 1876, who said the following? Mr. Watson, come here. Benjamin Tasker. 
Who said it, Sydney? Uh, Sherlock Holmes. Not Sherlock Holmes, nope. Drew Freeman, who back in 1876 said, I will complete what he said, Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. He would be Alexander Graham Bell, the man who invented the first telephone. Read again, Sydney, three questions left. Let's get physical for 25 points, please. Let's get physical for 25 points. Teams, a multiple choice question for you. Are you okay over there? Yes. You sure? Okay. This is multiple choice. This is let's get physical for 25 points. Teams, listen carefully. Most minerals end in which of the following three letters? I, D, E, I, T, E, or I, N, E. Most minerals. Drew Freeman. T-E. T-E it is, absolutely right. Hematite, halite, bauxite, good, green. Science potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25 points, teams. The newest chemical element, number 112, has been named Copernicum for Nicholas Copernicus, who is a very famous what? Drew Freeman, what was his claim to fame? Oh, anthropologist, I don't know, chemist, chemist. He was not a chemist. Come on, Benjamin Tasker. Nicholas Copernicus. His name now on element number 112, Copernicum. He was a very famous what? What'd you think? He was an astronomer, an astronomer. The heliocentric theory stating that the sun and not the earth is the center of the solar system. One question left, dateline for 25. This is it. Teams, it was back in 1981 that America's first test tube baby was born. But they weren't really born in test tubes. It was IVF. What does IVF stand for? The real way that you get a test tube baby. In vitro fertilization is what we were looking for. Our game is over. Drew Freeman has done it. They're going on to the finals. We'll be back in just a moment. Don't go away. And welcome back, a battle of titans here today. Two outstanding schools, and it was a very close competition down to the very end. Our final tally is Benjamin Tasker, 175. Drew Freeman, 235. Congratulations over there to Ina, Savannah, and Dwayne. Abraham, I know you're very happy about all this. And Dr. Angili, look at the smile on her face. First time ever Drew Freeman goes to the finals. Benjamin Tasker, you gave us a great game today. Austin and Sydney and Josh, thanks for being part of this. Robbie, thank you for being here. Miss Bell and Miss Wilson, thank you for sponsoring a team. They did extraordinarily well. It was good to have Benjamin Tasker back in our game this year. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time, our second semifinal, and stay with us too for the finals here with the middle schools. See you then. Bye-bye.